on youtube here a lot of people are looking like if you're doing content about ghana it's not only ghanaians that watches this content okay some people are looking to visit ghana or move to ghana and they look at you and they, they are constantly on your channel watching your videos trying to they don't even comment most time because some people don't want people to know that they are interested in coming to ghana or a particular place so they don't usually comment okay they just watch the video enjoy it and go they are looking to see ghana through your eyes to see if they can move in here or not if they can do business here or not living here for foreigners living in healthcare different things around a particular country so if you are no longer living here and you are no longer talking about that they are going to stop watching your videos and another thing that i have noticed about Ghanaians is if you are a nigerian and you're making content based on nigeria a lot of Ghanaians don't want problem they want to avoid your channel at the moment not because they hate you if you're a foreigner and you are bold you are honest honest when i don't agree with my people in ghana i do not agree when i agree i agree for me i think i agree with Ghanaians. like 90 percent agree but any day i bring my one percent that don't agree watch and see the woto woto that they'll give to me this is where consistency comes in consistency on youtube is not just about uploading videos regularly it's about staying tuned with what you do it's not a bad thing but be ready for either negative or positive you get it but you wouldn't know which one you will get until you try for me now i don't want to try okay I'm okay here where I am except hey guys welcome back to another video if you're new to my channel welcome my name is Lily please if you're new here don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like share comment and keep on watching Amara Chiduru actually inspired me to do this video I could actually slide into her DM or inbox on Facebook or WhatsApp or put a call through to her in Nigeria and talk about this but no I want to do it here because I believe it's going to be of help to young creatives I'm not talking about young in age you may be older than me or younger than me or anyways you know or maybe my age mates or so but I mean young in terms of you're new to this business of content creation if you're new to content creation you are young that is what I'm talking about if I'm going to use Amarachi response I could actually have responded privately Mara it, it takes a lot of courage for someone to come out and admit that their YouTube channel not doing as well as it used to do actually is affecting how they feel is people are ashamed to do that publicly to admit that their youtube channel brings them happiness or makes them happy or not happy you get it a lot of people will start to look at you like people are afraid that people are going to say oh you are relying on social media for your income yeah 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 so people are afraid of that but for her to come out courageously talk about how she feels and she deserves an accolade because of that you guys i'm going to i'm going to link the link of her video at the comment section of this video visit her and show her some love okay so what happened is this learn from amarachi's mistake what happened is i wouldn't call it a mistake because she never knew she was going to leave ghana but um at the same time i just want us to know that if you're doing a video based on ghana based on kenya cameroon south africa uk us anywhere nigeria because there are a lot of content creators that are based in nigeria that are not nigerians that make videos about nigeria so that don't base in nigeria that make videos about nigeria so this is expected when you move out of that country or when you stop talking about that country a lot of the people from that country are going to withdraw some of them will unsubscribe from your channel but the generous one are going to leave the subscription to be there but they won't come especially Ghanaians. the reason is Ghanaians don't want any trouble yes a lot of Ghanaians will tell you eh, do video about nigeria also it's too much every time ghana 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 some will tell you show us nigeria they mean it in good ways some don't really mean it in good ways they just they had enough of you they are tired of you they want you gone and now that you have you are out of ghana you are doing content about your country they want to please some of them are saying this genuinely from a good place oh show us nigeria uh, show us 
something else show us around and all that they mean well okay truly they wanted to show them but some people don't mean well so amara fair for it subscribers were telling us show us nigeria amara being generous kind-hearted as always he decided to pick up our camera go around inugu and other states around and show them nigeria and then the channel started to suffer two people out of five thousand subscribers to tell you and show us nigeria maybe in a good way or bad way they're telling you and that you want to listen to them channel will start to suffer this is not just applicable to Ghanaians or ghana based content this is to every content creator if you're doing hair videos and someone comes up to tell you tomorrow eh, please we are tired of hair 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 every time give us makeup don't mind that person okay if that person is tired of seeing hair videos on your channel there are millions and one makeup channel on youtube all they have to do is leave your own channel and go to these places and enjoy it you don't have to try to please a few numbers of your subscribers just because you want to listen to them i get told that all the time when when anytime i go to nigeria and i'm like hi guys i'm in my village some people will come up and tell me eh please it's enough ghana ghana all the time show us nigeria why show it's not like they're enjoying the content they just want you to stop talking about their country because why are you talking about it when you leave here okay so next time when someone tells you show us this don't mind them except if you are tired of talking about a particular topic if you are tired of talking about ghana mm, let it be that you decide to not talk about ghana again it shouldn't be because videos requests are coming oh someone requests hey show us this how many people are you going to be able to please so the best place to look into is the analytic this is where you're going to look at and say okay this is what people are watching on my channel people are watching a video of me talking about ghana even if i'm no longer living there people are watching a video of me talking about the akosombo dam people are watching a video about me talking about a place in ghana my one of my favorite places that i've been to like second day you know check the analytic this is the analytic is like blood flowing around the vein the analytic is the vein and then the algorithm is the blood flowing circulating and is the analytic that is going to tell you if the algorithm is responding fine to your videos or not and whatever the analytic says is what you should do as a content creator base you in ghana kenya wherever the us don't just wake up and think it's okay to pick up any advice that anyone gives you be it a content creator or not even this advice i'm giving you you don't have to take it do you follow your hearts okay on youtube here a lot of people are looking like if you're doing based content based in ghana about ghana it's not only ghanaians that watches this content some people are looking to visit ghana or move to ghana and they look at you they they constantly they are constantly on your channel watching your videos trying to they don't even comment most time because some people don't want people to know that they are interested in coming to ghana or a particular place so they don't usually comment okay they just watch the video enjoy it and go you'll be wondering ah, who watched this video they'll just watch it and go watch it and go they are looking to see ghana through your eyes to see if they can move in here or not if they can do business here or not living here for foreigners living in healthcare different things around a particular country so if you are no longer living here and you're no longer talking about that they are going to stop watching your videos okay they are going to stop watching your videos it has nothing to do with it and another thing that i have noticed about Ghanaians is if you are a nigerian and you're making content based on nigeria a lot of Ghanaians don't want problem they want to avoid your channel at the moment not because they hate you but because you know now when you go to watch a video about nigeria you may put mouth Ghanaians don't want any problem they don't want to pull out and maybe they will see something negative and decide to say ah, ah, this place no fine ah, ah, ah. so instead of them to be tempted to do that or do otherwise they will just not do at all so they will just avoid your channel okay they love you but they don't want to be 
a problem because maybe they cannot control their emotion and if they are being real with how they feel it's going to bring problem they don't want it the only time they will be on your channel you like it or not is when you are talking about their country they see their flag they go come so that they will guide and see hey, what she's saying if you are saying the one that goes down well you take a kiss you're saying the one that is goes that goes against them you collect what to do so it's like that so if you're doing content like me now i don't really think this channel is something i can say okay i have a channel now i can go to sleep no i don't yet okay you know why i strongly believe that if i stop doing videos about ghana because the algorithm apart from the people supporting me my the algorithm is used to ghana on my channel if i stop doing it my channel is going to suffer do you get it so i don't have a channel oh this channel belongs to ghana hmm. i don't i do not have a channel and it's not just about ghana or a country it's about every other um every other niche that you pick on youtube if you are a dressmaker on youtube and then someone comes to complain stop posting dress post this just ignore that person because <laughs> they may mean well but there are a lot of other places that they can go to get what they are looking for why do they choose to come to you if they are coming to complain you know, another thing is i see people pay their way to ghana mm -hmm, to concrete content about ghana spend money please if you don't have it in mind to live here you don't have it in mind to travel originally to ghana to base here or to explore I don't think is the best thing to do you want to start a youtube channel it's okay they make make a go ghana go start because people when they do video based on ghana and they get views you know they work like that because by the time you no longer do it your channel is going to become like a cemetery it's going to be dry and quiet and lonely like a cemetery so this is why you should do something that you're going to be you're sure you're going to be able to keep up with so for amarachi uh, we from me on behalf of myself and my fellow Ghanaians <laughs> we love you you know I have told you in private things to do for your channel if you're not coming back to Ghana anytime soon you can do this do this instead of because not living in Ghana and then doing videos about Ghana ah, it's, it's not easy it's hard it will bring you a lot of trauma it will bring you a lot of struggle you struggle unlike like I'm living here now. If I don't want to sit down here looking at you, talking, shaking my head, showing you guys my beautiful face. <laughs> I can just take a walk and just go to one of the malls in Ghana, in Accra. Or just go to somewhere, one village here in Ghana. Or just, it's easier to create the content about somewhere or something that you are in it, that you love, basically. Every other person may be doing it out of, you may be creating content about Ghana out of love. But if you're not living here, the love will not be practical. So yeah, that is it. For those who want to start their YouTube channel, eh, you think eh, you want to use a country, Kenya, they give you, Nigeria, they give you, Cameroon, they give you, Ghana, they give you. That is what happened when you start. Except if you are a travel blogger, okay? Anywhere you go, if you are into books, anywhere you go, people are ready to follow you to go see. But if you are like like me now that is based in Ghana, then I can't say I know I'm based in Ghana again. I'm based in Nigeria or I'm based in Cameroon. My audience is going to automatically change, not just the people of that country, but the people that have been watching my videos, trying to see that country or that thing through my eyes, they are just going to take a break. So Amara, that is what happened to your channel. But the good thing is that you can impress the algorithm by continuously doing what you love at the moment, what you, are, what you enjoy doing. You see that Nigeria, Nigeria, Nigeria safe, they get views very well. It's just that you may struggle as a Nigerian living in Nigeria, doing content about Nigeria, because a lot of the times people want to see a country through the eyes of a foreigner to get it. If you are a Nigerian living in Nigeria, you, you may struggle for a while because if you are saying good things about Nigeria, people are going to take it that, oh, you're saying that because it's your country. Then if you are saying, you won't even want to say bad things about your country, right? Because we are not perfect. Yeah. So this is it. If you are a foreigner and you are bored, you are honest, eh, like me, honest, 
when I don't agree with my people in Ghana, I do not agree. When I agree, I agree. For me, I think I agree with Ghanaians. Like, 90% agree. But any day I bring my 1% that don't agree, watch and see the woto woto that they'll give to me. That is the fun part about doing videos aside the country you're from. So you may struggle for a while, but keep it up. The algorithm will be warm again. Keep doing it. Keep doing it, okay? The algorithm will be warm and accept you. And of course, we, myself, and on behalf of all of my fellow Ghanaians, we are expecting you in Ghana, okay? We are expecting you and our baby and our baby girl to return to Ghana. So if you're struggling, if you're doing content and you want to change your niche, you have to think twice before you do. It's not just about Ghana. Any niche you are into, once you switch from there to another, to a different niche, is going to affect your growth. Both it may be positively or negatively. So growth, something must happen. Immediately you stop doing, you stop being consistent. This is where consistency comes in. Consistency on YouTube is not just about uploading videos regularly. It's about staying tune with what you do i see some people will give you advice hey try to change niche and when they get a notification they already know what to expect yes when you get notification on my channel you know what to expect and that is fine mm? that is fine because if you want to change niche on your channel it's not a bad thing but be ready for either negative or positive you get it but you wouldn't know which one you will get until you try for me now i don't want to try okay I'm okay here where I am, except if any day I have money and I want to go to Kenya or go to Zimbabwe, go to Cameroon, go to... I really want to go to Cameroon. You see Cameroon? I want to visit con that country. I want to go to Cameroon, okay? I feel like Cameroonian women are just so amazing. Like, honestly, every, every person I have met that has a drop of Cameroonian blood in them, they are female. They have always been amazing. All right, off YouTube and on YouTube. So I would like to visit Cameroon and see the water they drink to be so sweet. All right, so I am going to be traveling to different countries, but I'll be back here to Ghana. You see this Ghana, we die here. I've said it before, except if I have the opportunity to travel to the Western countries, that is when you see this Ghana flag, now then I will leave them. Otherwise, and I still won't leave her completely because I'm going to from time to time talk about her. This is my home now. You get it? Mm -hmm. So you see this Ghana, we die here, hold her tight onto me. She's mine too. All right. So you guys, thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.